For years, the ignorance of being an empath felt like a curse. I prayed for someone else to notice too. If there were a fire, at least it's something you could see and smell. You'd react immediately. Call whoever you call in emergencies. I pray for a world, for a future, where a broken heart is treated just as gently as a broken arm. Where we don't need bravery to stand up and say to someone else, I'm not okay. A future where our health plan includes mental sick days. None of us are really, truly okay. We're all just trying our best, falling down and getting back up again. Let's be more compassionate, more honest, more open. How sad is it that we can hide it so well that there are masks big enough and strong enough to hold all the shame, the guilt, the doubt, the fear within? Why? 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 I probably asked myself this question about a hundred times. Why are we so far from where we want to be? Why do we pretend to be okay? And what the hell does that mean anyway? I look at the old man sleeping on the streets, and I know the drug addiction doesn't let him think of much else. But I once knew him, and he wasn't always like this. He would be happy, even if he had no home, no food or clothes, he'd be happy if he could get his daughter to look at him again. That's the weight. But you see that secretary at the bank? You could never tell, but she loves to smile and let her hair down and go wild. Oh, you gotta see her dance. See that school teacher? He secretly thinks all his students are superheroes. That single mother? You don't need to worry about her. Lorelai Gilmore is her role model. That teenager that hides her face under her dark black hair? She's the smartest girl in the room. She's gonna grow up to do great things. Just give it time. That's the privilege. And I wouldn't have it any other way. That's just the way it is. We've been experienced dichotomy ever since we entered these bodies. I've made my peace with the duality. If you want to feel, you gotta let it all in. I'll admit, it does get to be too much. I feel defeated at times. I'm waving the white flag, but nothing. The war goes on. What do I do? I retreat. I go inward. I go silent. I go numb. I go deaf. I go dumb. Other times, I break open, spill my heart out on the asphalt. I watch as little flowers grow along the sidewalk where the cracks once used to be. Other times, I am the embodiment of mercy. I give what I have. I give what I don't have. I give until it bleeds. I give it all away. Most of all, I just sit and close my eyes and envision the light. I smile as I begin to feel the vibe of the beauty and love within me, the softness with which I think, act, and speak, the power I have to fill myself with what I need. Do you know that you have that power too? This ability is as much a part of me as it is of you because I would have nothing to feel, nothing to grieve, nothing to be in awe of if it weren't for you. And when you look at me, I hope you see your contrast and your reflection, your beauty and your compassion. Will you help me build a nation of heart-centered citizens, of kind-hearted presidents? A world that doesn't need the definition of feminism because we were born and always will be equal. Will you raise the flag with me and sing this anthem so that we can all finally go home where we belong? <laughs>